All right, hi. I'm currently moving around a lot because I have somewhere that I need to go to soon. And I just want to um, grab some food before I leave. However, um, oh yeah, first of all, let me start before I'm going. I'm going to like the second interview for my upcoming Dunkin' Donut job. I wasn't giving like a specific time. I was supposed to like come between the time range of like 12 to 2 p.m. And it's currently almost 1 p.m. And it takes almost 20 minutes to get there. So I'm not going to I woke up before 12. I woke up at like 11.40. But I just needed like time to like actually, you know, kind of like wake up kind of stuff. I think I started getting ready around like 12. I don't know, maybe 12.20 maybe? Like 12.10? I don't even know. Long story short, I'm, slight, I'm kind of rushing a little because I, I also don't want to arrive at like the last minute, like when it's nearing 2 p.m. Because that's not like good on like my behalf. It doesn't, it doesn't like make a good, I guess, like first impression. I'm just like wanting some food to drink with me because I know that I won't have time to like sit down and eat at home. So I can just like eat in the car or whatever. I just want to bring a little something to like in case I get hungry. At least I'll have food if we want to like buy outside food just yet. And was, like, the reason why I wanted to record was that like while I was like looking at the location on Google Maps and whatnot, I noticed that um there's also like a bakery nearby and I've never been to it. And it's a Turkish bakery. And like just a couple of years ago, I think when I was in high school was when I had Turkish food for the first time and discovered like how good it is. So I see that they're underrepresented when it comes to like cuisines around the world like here about other countries food like it's like you know American food, Mexican food, Chinese food, we don't really care about like Turkish food. When I tried I was like damn it. and like they're out here underrepresented like that. This food is yummy. So like yeah I saw a Turkish bakery on Google Maps like near the area where my um second interview will take place. And I was looking at like the menu like what they have since at least they have websites like you know some places don't have websites that show you like the menu and everything but like, this place does and like there are so many items that like seem good. However, like the thing about me is like you know I'm kind of a picky eater. So like my fear would be like, you know, buying something and finding out that I don't like it. So you know, maybe I've wasted money, but like, yeah, I'm still not satisfied. So, so that had me thinking, like, you know, they should have like a sample platter, like some kind of like sample package. Because like there are so many options, right? There's like 13 different options for baklava, and they also have like other pastries and other foods, even like some savory foods. I'm gonna pop this in the microwave one more time. And then like each item is around like 8, 10, 13 dollars. I mean, you should just have like a, um, some kind of like sample package, even if it's like you have to order it ahead of time, or like, yeah, you have to make like the request ahead of time. Like that would be good for people like me, I'll also like, make the portions like way smaller, or like something between, somewhere between like 1 to 3 bites, like you know. Yeah, something like that. So that way, like, you know, you can literally just taste it, sample it. If I like, hmm, I like it, so I'll get it this next time I go there. Like, hmm, I don't like it, so at least I don't have, like, a whole lot I need to get rid of, you know? I would be, like, a really good, like, you know, I guess, like, could that be marketing? Or, like, business idea or whatever? Just having, um, sample, like, packages. Also, like, let the people choose, like, what they want to try, I guess. Because they have more than, like, 20 items. So, like, I don't know, I feel like they should do, like, maybe, like, between 10 to 15 items, but then, like, you get to choose where your 10 to 15 items are. And also, this should also, this should also like, give you, like, a small, like, a piece of paper, printed piece of paper that tells you, like, what each item is, and then, like, a mini description. It all just be cool overall. That's what I spent time doing in bed when I was, like, hmm, I need to get up and go. So I was, and so I was just, like, laying in bed. But I don't Google Maps, like, see where the location was for, like, my second interview, and, like, I was just going to places near it. it. And I saw that Turkish bakery. And I was just like looking at the menu and like fantasizing about this idea. Anyways, I'm not even gonna go there, but like, yeah, I'm about to like leave very soon. Yeah, I have everything. So, on the flip side. Alright, so I just got back from the interview. There wasn't much. The only question I asked, like the main interview question I asked was like, why do you want to work here? And it's like I had that question prepped in my mind already, which was that um, I like making drinks, and I like drinks. So like smoothies, milkshakes, that kind of stuff. I love it. So like now being able to add coffee to the roster would be pretty good. But like since I was like on the spot, I was like, well, um, I've worked fast food in the past. And like my brother also used to work at, at Dunkin'. And like he told me how it's like. I'm like, yeah, I think I'd like this job. I mean, I thought it was all right. But like, you know what I'm saying? Wait. I don't have a phone holder in the car. So like once the light turned green, I had to, you know, put the phone down. So that's where the last clip was cut. But anyways, after I went to for the interview you know that went pretty great i'm basically just running a background check now which will take a few days but i should hear back around like thursday you know like end of the week by latest which means that i'll be able to start 
next week. And I know the next week is when orientation starts, which will take place at that same Dunkin' that I just um, went to. That was a 20 minute drive. And then I'll be with other people as well, like watch our orientation videos. It should take around four hours as we watch the videos and learn more about the company and whatnot. Also, it's a franchise, by the way. The glare is crazy. I'm gonna take off my glasses. Like, the glare is doing a bit too much. But after that, I went to IHOP to once again get my free pancakes. I used to risk my pan coins at 20 more left, which is enough to get like one full stack of flavored pancakes. And I used the rest of that, that, so I no longer have any more pan coins unless I were to buy pancakes. But I got like, I got, I got something different this time. I've never had it before, but it's the lemon ricotta blueberry protein pancakes. I'm um, not gonna lie, it was alright. Like, I wouldn't get it again, but it was good enough for me to eat and not complain. But I swear, before COVID, IHOP had a larger selection of pancakes, but then, like, during COVID, it cut down. And after COVID, they still never brought back the full menu. Like, am I the one who feels that way? That, like, you know, that they had a, a bigger pancake menu before COVID that, like, they simply never brought back? I don't know, because it just feels like the same things each time I go there now. I mean, I guess I know they have been keeping it a little fresh. Um, with like limited edition stuff. Like I know right now they have pancakes inspired by the movie If and they also do pancakes of the month. I haven't gotten to try the pancakes of the of the month yet, but like a few times sounded good. The one for this month or orange creamsicle pancake or whatever. That doesn't sound too good, but the past ones I've heard about, like the white chocolate raspberry and like apple pecan, those two sounded like pretty good. After I hop my little sister texted me at the right time. She texted me asking me if she could get a hot dog from Costco. And like, since I was actually around the area, I was like, actually, yeah, I'll do it. So I went there. I got her her hot dog. And I realized, like, once I got to her car, like, wait, I have another little sister. So I can't just bring her the hot dog. Because then she's going to be wondering, like, what about me? Where's my food? Because, you know, I'll have my pancakes. She'll have her hot dogs. And what the last sister have? So I was just sitting in the car for, like, a few seconds. I was like, yeah, I have to go back. So I went back. And I, and I decided to get her a pizza. Because so I was like, wait, last time that we went to Costco, she got a hot dog. It might have been because, like, we all got hot dogs and she didn't want to be, like, the odd one out. So, like, normally she gets pizza. I'm like, okay, I'll just get her a pizza. So that's what I got her. And then, yeah, from then on, I had to basically, not rush, but, like, you know, I placed this to me because then I had to pick my little sister up, the youngest one, by the way, the one who got a pizza, to go pick her up from elementary school. I was in a little bit of a time crunch, but I, I ended up getting there, like, basically on time. So that was good. Cause, like, I went more, like, worrying that, like, where I can get there on time, right? And not have them bring her back to the office and call my parents, like, yo, no one came to pick up your kid. Is someone coming? Like, yeah, I made it. I got her. And I ended up having to eat my pancakes while home because you know like normally I'll, I'll eat in the car like without anyone so I don't have to hear like oh can I have some or like you know you have like, external pressure or anything but because of the time crunch and everything I have to eat at home with like everyone but like, since they also had their outside food like, you know it all worked out so, like yeah, I'm just chilling now finally giving the other update I just replied to some text messages oh yeah I, I also called my mom like not too long ago like 20 minutes ago giving her like the updates on what happened regarding regarding like the job search and what happened like after and everything I still have like a few messages that I need to reply to. That's about it.